In this video tutorial we'll be covering how to uh, install IMVU on uh, Linux Ubuntu. Um, well, we're going to just dive into it. First of all, you're going to need to get two programs. First program is called Wine, which is uh, what you're going to need to emulate IMVU, which is a Windows-based program on a Linux-based machine. So uh, we're going to dive into that right now. and. To, we're going to open up our terminal, we're going to press Control alt t um, So first of all we need to go and get the package and install it. So it's uh, for wine, so it's sudo get, sorry, apt get install wine and it's going to ask me for my password And uh, yeah, I'm just going to say yes to this, and I'm going to pause this video while it's uh, installing it, because it does take a little bit of time to do this. So I'm just going to say yes, and I'm going to pause this. Okay, so well, we all done installing Wine, um, so now pretty much we're done with the uh, terminal here. So it's going to close that, and uh, well, now what we need is the latest IMView executable file which we can download from uh, imview.com so let's just go uh, imview and there's usually a link to the download page okay here we go download imview now I'm just going to save this. Okay, so I'm going to go open control in the folder here. And what we're going to need to do first is we need to go into the properties and go into permissions and allow executing file as program. Tick. And close. Now what we're going to do, might as well just close this browser here first and uh, well here we go I'm about to show you what everybody has told you is impossible putting IMView in on Linux so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to install it and I should remember, uh, should actually mention that you need to uh, be clicking right click and open with Wine Windows Program Loader Uh, it just installs like normal just on a windows just basic installation like a windows installation would go through um, okay so yeah just unpacking data we're almost there now I don't really like this I'm just gonna get rid of that and we're finished and as you see here comes IMView loading up on our Linux machine. Okay, so let's just log in and I'm going to show you a few uh, tweaks that you might need to do. Oh, let me do that in with a different one. Okay. Well, I really don't like how they are giving away all these promotion credits at the moment, but uh, yeah, what can you do? And if you want to ruin the economy, they can go ahead and do it. Okay, so we've loaded up IMView. First of all, I'm just going to put on a, one of my outfits. And. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to put on some basic stuff. Okay. As you can see, it works pretty much the same way as uh, the Windows installation does. 
Steven, I'm going to put on something that's quite heavy KB. So uh, you can see it is able to handle it without crashing. Okay, I'm not going to bother putting on a full outfit. I'm just going to close that for now. No. Okay, so uh, now let's go and load up a chat room. Any chat room. I'm not even going to speak to these people. I just want to show you how the graphics render here and if there's any problem I'll show you how to fix that. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with the graphics rendering because I've re just re before doing this video I installed my graphics driver um, but out of the box you might have, uh, have to go into the settings tab and uh, adjust some settings there. Okay. as you can see um, some of the graphics don't render very nicely like even uh, the names are a bit broken up it's a bit pixelated so to get out of that um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings and we're going to go to advanced and I'm going to just set it to standard graphics and now when I go back in everything seems to have uh, yeah pretty much uh, evened out it's nice uh, no more pixels in the names above the heads and yeah that's pretty much it you've got IM view running um, I'm just going to go out here and the one thing that I did find that was a bit disappointing. I don't know if it is uh, going to work on this uh, installation or not. Uh, it usually doesn't. Is the create mode. So we got create mode that loads, um, and you might find that when you're trying to uh, do some shit with it, it's going to crash. So I'm just going to go and uh, delive from the top, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, especially when you're trying to put in your own assets like over here we go in over here uh, oh, we're gonna have to browse to uh, oh I don't have them on my uh, on this installation so just go into computer uh, no that's not it okay I must tell you one thing is that we are um, inside a virtual installation uh, let's go to home so we need to get into the main uh, area of this okay Well, right now I can't get to it, but I'm just going to download a quick picture quickly from the internet. Any texture. Uh, okay, let's just go. Yeah, any uh, any texture I'll take. Uh, Save image, okay. Here we go. And test. I'm just going to save that. I'm going to go into the uh, wine program suite and go into wine. And we've got wine tricks. And in here, we're going to select a default wine prefix, okay yes okay and what we want to do is browse folders well browse files and we are inside the uh, wine installation now um, I'm just going to go back to my desk to my uh, downloads folder where I should have that uh, picture downloaded
Yes, I do. I'm just going to put this into my uh, Wine Virtual Desktop's, uh, well, desktop folder, if I should say. Okay, going to Users. This is the only thing that re is really annoying about uh, having to do this on an emulator machine is that you cannot always get your your files to the correct location as easy as you would like to. Okay, there we go. So now, if I go back into the iron view, which is the wine glass now, doesn't show up <laughs> well uh, as you can see I was saying before I'm actually running out of time on this video we have limitations with uh, wine so uh, yeah unfortunately we can't get around that um, the create mode might not work as well as you would hope and uh, please do not blame me if there is crashing when you are trying to load images into create mode or load uh, m custom meshes into create mode um, so for creating purposes right now this might not be the best solution for you guys but uh, for chatting purposes and for being able just to have basic functions of IMView running on a Linux machine this tutorial will get that job done okay well thanks for uh, watching and please subscribe